Hi, I'm Colin from hdcctv.co.uk. Uh, we're just going to run through some um, details about the face recognition functions in the new AI cameras we have and the, the NVR, the Xvision NVR. So if you purchase an NVR with an IP camera that has artificial intelligence built in, you can use the face recognition functions. Any camera model with the part code X5C has AI built in. The AI camera and the NVR recognise a human face in the picture and the NVR then records the face image as a still and stores it in a database in the NVR. Once the image has been added to the database, you decide whether it should be added to the allow list or the block list. The allow list is where you would put the people you are happy to be on your property, your family, your friends, your staff or visitors if you're a business, that sort of thing. The block list is where you would put anyone you definitely do not want on your property and you want to be informed if they are near your property. So it could be a troublemaker, could be an ex, could be the mother-in-law. Whatever you set it for, that's what it'll do. So anyone you'd want to be notified if they're on your property, this will do it. Now the images in the database don't have to be taken by the IP camera itself, so it might be someone you don't see, so you wouldn't have their photo on your camera. So you can manually import photos um, into the database, perhaps they're taken from their social media sites or any other online post with their face on. You can add that to the database via a USB stick and then import it in. Now the alert he would get can either be on a smartphone app, so you have the app on your phone, it pops up on the front screen when, when, uh, when that's activated. You can have it send an email, um, what you could do is have it send it to a, a VIP email address on your phone, it would then also pop up on your phone, or um, have it make a sound on your computer when an, that, an email from uh, with that subject line is, has come in, for example. Um, you, it'll also send a photo to your Google Drive account or a Dropbox account, uh, or upload it to an FTP server if you've got that sort of system set up. Now, using the app, which is XIQ Mobile CMS, when you look at a camera that has AI functions, you get an, an AI button appear. When you click on it, you'll see you've a few options here. You've got adding a new person. Now here you can open it. It'll use the, cam the smartphone camera and you can then add in your staff, your family, your friends using that to the database quite easily. You can search by your image. So you can do a quick search and see what uh, images there are. You can search by name, you've got someone in the database, you want to know when, when they've been in your property, when they've been around. Put their name in it, it'll show you all the incidences of their face being logged. As this video shows, the system does have limitations. If the person is quite far from the camera, their face is too small to be readable by the system. Also, poor lighting conditions will affect its reliability to capture the face as well. Using this camera, which is the X5C5000V-W, it was able to read my face reliably from five meters away. Okay, so let's go into the recorder itself now and have a look at some of the features. So you'll see on the right here, there's me, hello, and there's my mic. So here is the, um, on the right hand side of the screen, you can see the instance it's recorded. So these are the, there's me talking. Okay, so it shows you each time the face is recognised, what time it was, and what, what we were doing when that occurred. You can right click on it, so you can play back. You can import that photo into the database in the block or the allow list. Fast compare will compare this shot to all the other shots of my lovely face. And you can uh, click on each one and play back and just see if that is the person you think it was. And configure face alarm. This is where you would set up what happens when uh, the allow list is activated or the block list. So let's do block list first. Just have a quick look in there. So we've got nobody in the block list. Let's let's import import a photo. Let's import me with a hat on. There we go. Uh, we can put the details in there. Put in uh, the age, of course, that sort of thing. Um, all the details, some notes, that sort all sort of thing. And then that's imported here. You can configure the alarm. So the alarm here, this little cog, 
and then so you can pick the camera number whether it beeps when that person is activated on that camera so for example if you had a camera outside you wouldn't want it activated when that person walked past outside because they're not going to come in but if they walk in the door camera two would pick them up you could enable the beeper and it would beep for 10 seconds when that person's face is recognized you can also have it save the face save the background show a thumbnail which is the thing on the right there send an email um, or send a picture to the upload picture that's the cloud from this these alarm alarm schedule what hours of the day of the week you want that to happen it can be on 24 7 or you can pick certain days turn it off statistics will tell you how many from the block list and how many from the allow list have been in throughout the day and you can go up to a year